ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, drones able to see through forests shine new light on one of World War II's bloodiest battles. But first, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has discovered one of the universe's oldest galaxies formed a mere 390 million years after the Big Bang. The University of Texas at Austin team, led by Stephen Finkelstein, used the $10 billion telescope's spectroscopic analysis capabilities to determine the galaxy's age. Scientists say Maisie's galaxy, named after Professor Finkelstein's daughter, is one of the four earliest confirmed galaxies ever seen after they exist examined its chemical makeup, heat output, brightness and movement. The telescope's ultimate mission is to look back even further, 13 and a half billion years in fact, to get scientists within 100 million years of the Big Bang. Next, archaeologists have been using LiDAR equipped drones to shed new light on one of the bloodiest battles of the Second World War, the Battle of the Bulge. Basically, it's a laser scanner attached to a drone. The laser scanner sends the pulse and that pulse reflects. Some of the pulses reflect on leaves or trees as some of the laser beams are able to penetrate through the tree canopy and they reflect on the bare uh, surface. That's Dr. Birke Stichelbaut, a conflict archaeologist at Ghent University, who explains what they found around the Ardennes forest in Belgium and Luxembourg. What it does show us are features. Those are archaeological features at the surface. We are looking at dugouts. We're looking at small, narrow trenches, bomb craters, artillery emplacements. LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, emits pulses of light to create 3D models and maps, enabling researchers to see through the forest canopy. In some cases, there were still lying material at the surface. We discovered a German steel hand grenade still live at the surface at an American uh, gun emplacement. We found American fuses, all kind of stuff dealing with artillery. There were nearly 200,000 Allied and German casualties over six weeks of the Ardennes offensive in the winter of 1944 to 1945. Now, research by the University of California's Keck School of Medicine has found vaping puts young people more at risk of bronchitis and shortness of breath. The study published in the journal Thorax tracked the respiratory health around 2,000 young people and questioned their cigarette and vape use. Researchers also included questions on bronchitis symptoms such as a daily cough for three months in a row as well as wheezing and shortness of breath. They report the odds of wheeze were 81% more likely among 30-day past e-cigarette users than among those who've never vaped. A study by the German Cancer Research Centre has found taking regular vitamin D supplements may reduce cancer deaths in the population by 15%. Data gathered from the UK Biobank indicates vitamin D deficiency is linked to an increased cancer mortality risk. Researchers said their work, published in Elsevier's European Journal of Cancer, adds to evidence that vitamin D may have a protective effect against cancer. While the findings do not explain why this happens, the team said one possibility is that vitamin D supplements may induce anti-inflammatory antioxidant and DNA damage repair mechanisms which can thwart mutations that allow tumours to grow. Next. Snapchat's artificial intelligence-powered chatbot is raising a few eyebrows after the tech appeared to go briefly rogue. Users reported my AI posting a strange story to its profile and then being unresponsive to text chats, followed by the same reply of sorry, I encountered a technical issue. And that strange story, it showed a flat beige image, leaving users to speculate it was a wall or a ceiling. But when questioned about it, my AI denies knowing anything. At the time of recording this podcast, all seems back to normal. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science. Plus, the snake named after the actor who plays the world's most famous snake-hating archaeologist, Indiana Jones. Why not hit follow in the meantime and give us a rating? Welcome back. Scientists at the University of Illinois have discovered a demon particle that could lead superconductors that channel electricity at room temperature, a process described as the holy grail of physics. 
A superconductor of the kind used in MRI scanners is a metal or alloy capable of conducting electricity without resistance, but it must be more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit below freezing to work. Now, researchers have identified in the metal strontium ruthenate a massless particle, meaning it can form at any temperature. Now, Scientists have reconstructed a Pink Floyd classic from the recorded brainwaves of patients who were undergoing epilepsy surgery while listening to the song. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, used artificial intelligence to decode the brain signals, recreating the 1979 hit Another Brick in the Wall Part 1. The team said this is the first time scientists have reconstructed a song from recordings of brain activity, which came from 29 patients who underwent surgery a decade ago. They said the famous phrase, all in all, it's just another brick in the wall, is recognisable in the reconstructed song and the rhythms remain intact. And finally... Harrison Ford's legendary Indiana Jones character may fear snakes, but the actor now has a real reptile named after him. Takimenoides Harrison Ford Eye, found in Peru, has been so named one of Ford's environmental campaigning, and the actor called it humbling. It's the latest little creature to be named after Ford, whose name also honours an ant and a spider. And while his fictional archaeologist character might balk at snakes, the actor says he actually has a kinship with the animals. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast for the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London. And we'll be back on Thursday at 1pm. See you then.